So, den Stefano, den hatten wir vorhin schon am AMD-Booth gesehen. Hier haben die einen eigenen Booth mit Udo, das sind solche kleinen Tinkerboards, wie ähnlich wie ein Raspberry Pi, nicht das gleiche, aber ähnlich, es funktioniert eben mit, mit einer Ryzen und man kann hier eben seine eigene Gaming-Maschine bauen, wie beispielsweise das Ding. Aber Stefano wird uns gleich noch mal ein bisschen was dazu erklären. Hi Stefano, could you please explain a little bit about your Udo Tinkerboard with a Ryzen CP, uh, APU, I guess? Yes, yes. Hi guys. So, what we have made here is one of uh, our uh, uh, implementation that we can do with this kind of board. In this particular case, we developed this kind of a retro game application. And it's all made. I don't know if you can show also the, the part inside. I don't know if you want. And Let's have a look at in the yeah. back. So, wir gucken uns das jetzt mal ganz hinten an. Also, das ist wirklich mehr oder weniger zusammen gebastelt, kann das jeder alleine zu Hause auch machen, mit einem kleinen finanziellen Aufwand wahrscheinlich. And so, you can do some stuff like this. Uh, Giovanni now is playing uh, Pang, it's one most uh, beautiful game that I love so much. But uh, you can do more than this. Uh, for example, if we can move, we have some uh, also other application. For example, here we are made uh, an extreme uh, um, Solution: We have added another GPU to the uh, AMD V8. This is an NVIDIA 1060. This is just for experiment. Just, for example, for play a more complex game in these cases. But uh, in default configuration, you can use also uh, a VR gaming. Now, no, yes, now. Okay, now it's turned off, but <laughs> um, it's able also to play with this game. So you, you can probably use VR applications like Windows uh, Mixed Reality headsets with this, this is a Ryzen uh, APU. Ryzen V1000, yes. Yeah. And you can, can just run VR games? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Now, uh, I'm sorry, but this, I don't know why it's turned off, but uh, yes, you you can play in this kind of game with this uh, VR. So we have two slots for DDR4 RAM up to 32 gigabyte. The processor, we have two models, the V8 and the V3. V8 is uh, up to eight core, 3 gigahertz and 600. And we have a different kind of uh, port for, for example, two uh, HDMI, two USB-C, also power delivery. Uh, gigabit Ethernet, uh, this is uh, for plug uh, sensors because the particular stuff regarding uh, our board is uh, the, also the Arduino part. We have also another processor on the board uh, for prototyping stuff. For example, what you have seen in the arcade machine, it's uh, an implementation not only for the gaming, for play the gaming, but also for example for drive the LED that you can see. It's easy this because you can do this with the Arduino part. So, so you the, the APU um, just covers the game experience and the Arduino co covers like the RGB blinking. Yes, for example you can plug sensors, you can drive LEDs, uh, I don't know, you can plug a temperature sensor for do what you want. So, but um, another important thing is that we have we have a two three slot M2 where you can connect a hard drive um, the NVMe and uh, Wi-Fi, for example, in um, USB Type 3, and uh, so more or less that's it. Um, in this configuration, we connected the external GPU on one of the M2 connector. I don't. Yes, maybe no have sense this solution, but this is uh, just for show the, the power. You can do also application, uh, machine learning application, or for example, you can use for mining, I don't know, for uh, crypto monetary. Or you can buy a really, really small computer. But um, how, how is the, um, the, the, the graphics card um, connected to the board? Yeah, it's connected via M2 connector. There are an adapter that, uh, I don't know, yes, now it's in, uh, in the bottom part, but this adapter is uh, connected here, that you can see, and stop. The only thing, is you need uh, an additional power supply, because the power for the board not is an half for the NVIDIA GPU card. So, more or less, that's it. 
Yeah. And you do um, encourage your um, customers to build own uh, uh, little gaming machines, or I mean, you told it it's cost something around 300 euros. Yes, the cost is depend on the model. But I start from 300 euros. The the most powerful is near to five 400 euro. And so our uh, main uh, business is uh, develop hardware. So with this prototyping board, you can start doing project. But if you want, you can uh, easily uh, develop your application and pass to the industrial product because we made also industrial product based on the same technology. So our customer can start from this and whenever concrete idea can pass all this stuff on a real uh, industrial product. So okay. that's it. Okay, perfect. And when I just have like uh, eight gigabytes of RAM and this board, how would you compare it to like a PlayStation or Xbox or a mediocre PC? Yes, so it's like, um, yes, more or less, what I can say, we use this kind of board for, um, as a computer, we use this for job. I am a programmer and I use this, for example, for my job. So it's really, it's, of course, it's also good, very good for gaming, but also for uh, everyday job, it's, it's good. It's like, uh, you know, a MacBook Pro 2016, more or less. Yes, really? yes, the power, yes, yes. It's like an Intel i5, more or less, the power. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Good. Da habt ihr es. Ein Tinkerboard aus Italien. Ja. Uh, you do. Ähnlich wie Raspberry Pi, aber mit einem neuen Ryzen und der Vega GPU oder beziehungsweise insgesamt die APU. Sehr interessant. Vielleicht macht der eine von euch äh, daraus ja ein richtig kleines Mini-Gaming-Rig. Wäre interessant. <lacht>